I suspect that the capacitor is blown because we just had a thunderstorm come through here and the lights blink. So that's probably what took the capacitor out. So you just pull the disconnect out and that disconnects the AC power to the unit. There's still two other issues. There's a charge capacitor and there's 24 volts coming from the thermostat. So you need to shut the thermostat off and I'm gonna show you how to handle the capacitor. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Before I do anything else, I wanna make sure there's no power on this unit. So my non-voltage contact test, you wanna make sure these work before you use them. You can see here, I'm touching the two power legs coming in. It's this one here and this one and I'm showing zero. But I don't like to use these. I just don't trust them. I'm gonna put my meter on it. It gives a better view. I just like to use a meter. Between here and here should read 240 volts. We're reading zero. Now, these two contacts here are where the, the voltage comes in that pulls the solenoid in. The contact is pulled in, so we're gonna measure from here here so you can see that so now you can see it's reading 25.7 volts on the coil of the contactor and that's what's pulling the contactor in so when you turn your thermostat off that's what disconnects the power to these two to these two contacts and that will be 24 volts AC one thing about these non-contact testers you can see some of them do not pick up 24 volts AC. So you can't depend on it. I'm going to turn the thermostat off and then we'll check the capacitor. I just turned the thermostat off and if you put the leads across the coil here you can see I'm showing zero. So now the 24 volts is off. Okay the remaining item that could be charged up still in this unit would be this capacitor right here and before you touch these leads which you want to do is short these leads out across each other you want to use an insulated screwdriver don't touch the metal and just short these leads out from one to another now it's kind of hard to do it in here i think i'm getting it all done but i'm gonna do it again when i get the capacitor out Now that I have the capacitor, I me take my screwdriver again, make sure I short these terminals to each other, and that should discharge it. And now this capacitor should be safe to touch. Okay, we're gonna take it apart. We're gonna remove the terminals and see if the capacitor is good. I'll put the capacitor right here and we're gonna test it. To test it, you're gonna need a meter that reads microfarads. On this meter, you come here and you turn it to microfarads. Okay, this capacitor is a 45.5, so it's 45 microfarads on the compressor side, 5 microfarads on the fan. We know the fan was running, so that probably is going to test good. So let's see what we got. So from common to the fan, we're testing, should read 5, and it's reading uh, 4.9. They also give you a tolerance should be within 5%. So that's definitely within 5%. Okay, on the compressor side, again, we read between Herm and Common. We're reading 42.5, 42.6 range. And that's pretty close to the 95%, a little bit less than 95%. I have a new one, so I'm going to put a new one in. Okay, I have a new Titan Pro capacitor. It's a 45.5 rated for up to 440 volts. You can use a higher one. So 440 is, is the best one to use. Two of the same size, so it's gonna fit right in there. So the red is gonna go back to the common. The orange also goes to the common. 
the brown which goes to the fan it's going to go to where we see fan and the purple goes down here to the compressor and it's going to go right here on compressor Got them all in there. We're going to put the hold down screws back in. So we should be good to restart. Okay, on the disconnect, you need to put these back in right. If you put it upside down, it won't work. It's always a little bit tricky in the end. You got to get everything lined up. So once you got it lined up, it goes in pretty easy. Okay, it's ready to go on here. Ready to go. We're going to go turn the thermostat on and see what happens. everything running I can hear that compressor's running we'll come over here and check the free on line see I can feel this line now the big line it's already getting cold so that tells me that compressor's running plus I can hear it all right easy fix we're back up and running this video is for entertainment purposes only do not attempt any electrical work unless you have been trained in electrical safe work practices Electrical conditions vary, and you could be exposed to dangerous conditions that might result in injury or death. Fix-It Depot cannot be responsible for your safety.